Um, yeah, that poem was kind of formed of like sort of typing chlamydia is into Google, so it's kind of like a found poem-ish. Um, so my poems tonight aren't like really explicitly feminist and kind of, I don't know, they're all like about like um, my sad dating life, but <laughs> I'm saving the two last two at the end um, for being the more feminist ones, so hopefully it kind of go out on a positive note. Um, this one is about, it's the only one that I've included about the, the second guy that I think probably gave me chlamydia. Um, yeah, another, well, I don't know if I, should, I don't know why I'm just like going to be like, yeah, this is another crazy thing that I did. Um, has anyone read um, the book I Love Dick? Okay. So, you know, like she sends Dick, it's so, like she's in love with this guy called Dick, and um, she sends him these like pages of letters that he's written. So what I did was this second guy that I liked, I um, I kind of wanted to like just it to end, but he kind of always had that like, always kind of got me to come back. So I thought, okay, yeah, I'll just like send him all the poems that I've written to him. And then he blocked me, so it worked. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a poem for him. I don't mourn you, but what could have been? It is not the time together that is lost, just a non-existent future. These words are not a waste, they are cave paintings growing into masterpieces. Age does not bring wisdom, but only more unanswered questions. Thanks. Woo!